So here we are folks with match number 34, Saudi Arabia up against Egypt. So the starting line of fourth Saudi Arabia is like this, Abdullah in goal, Al Harbi, Al Zorbi, Hawasawi, Muath, Al Jazim, Al Shahiri, Al Abadet, Al Faraj, Al Sawahali, and Aziri up front. As for Egypt, this is their starting line, Akrami in goal, Gerber, Fafi, Al Hamadi, Hagazi, Isalah, Said, Sabihi, Wada, Mosin, and Mo Salah up front. So here we are folks, Egypt kick us off in match number 34 in their traditional red jerseys with white shorts. As for Saudi Arabia, they're in their, uh, I guess, familiar white tops, green pants. The results of the last match, or the uh, sort of accompanying match, match 33, Uruguay against Russia, ended 2-0. Was it 2-0? Satellite 3 0 to Russia. So they are in the driving seat with five points. Goal difference of three. Egypt are in second spot with four points on the books. Goal difference of two. So realistically, they would need a win to top this group. That's right. And Saudi Arabia are not out of it yet. A win for them as well would see them go through, which would be a major shock to the World Cup because they are one of the extreme underdogs. So far, Egypt have looked really impressive uh, in the opening two games. To put all those two games in just one second. But in the real world, this match will take place on the 25th of June, the same time as match 33. Uh, but this one will take place in the Volongrad Arena, which is in Volongrad. Now, if you are new to this channel and new to these videos, we do play two four-minute halves. Uh, and I'm simulating each and every World Cup game in the style of the 16-bit classic FIFA 95. Obviously, we've managed to hack the emulated version and brought it up to the present day by including the teams at this World Cup in Russia and updated their rosters. And there we have a cracking strike by Saudi Arabian. I'm not sure of the name because we don't have any player indicators to identify each other. We only know it once we see them being brought to our attention by either scoring a goal or picking up a cheeky yellow card or what have you. But who's going to come out on top here? A draw for Egypt. We'll see them through, but only as runners up. Saudi Arabia, on the other hand, would end up with three points and will go out of the tournament without losing a game. So that's a pretty, uh, you know, upsetting. I I'd be a pretty miffed if I was a supporter of that nation. We had lost at the World Cup group stage and got eliminated. But, hey, that's the way it is. You've got you to gotta be the top two in the group to get yourself through. And at the minute, Saudi Arabia looked pretty decent, and I wouldn't bet against them not getting a goal here, people. Here come Egypt now. Long ball, but no one's onto it. Saudi Arabia clean up. Some battling in defence. Here come Egypt, though. Again, like I said, they have been one of the standout performers. Uh, you know, you can't... When you've been given a group such as this, which is pretty open, you know, you, you would have fancied Uruguay at the start of the tournament. But, you know, it's a, it, right now, well, obviously Uruguay, they are out. They are out of the tournament. But the, both these two sides have still got a chance to make it through. Obviously, a draw would benefit Egypt. A win for Saudi Arabia, though, would completely flip-flop it around. So, yeah. It's all to play for. And then when you look at the grand scheme of things, if you do come second, you are going to be playing, looks like, Spain in the second round. And that's something you don't want. So there's a lot lot on the line here. And I think, you know, Egypt would want to avoid Spain if they want to uh, make it deep into the tournament, which would be a real boost to the country. Uh, in fact, the whole continent of Africa. So... long you know, creeping across towards the end of the first half and that was a good effort probably the best of the match thus far Saudi keeper equal to it and right now the scores ended like this Egypt will be second and there we go we're just about done into added time it's been pretty even it's not been the, been the greatest first half of football 
But there it is, folks. Saudi Arabia nil, Egypt nil. All right, folks. Second half, Saudi Arabia getting it underway. Can they find the elusive goal which would turn this tournament on its head? Obviously, if they were to win, which we're not really talked about, that was a good effort. Probably the best for Saudi Arabia. But a win for them wouldn't be enough to top the group unless they were to win by like three goals to nil. Then we'll be looking at the uh, this the match between Uruguay, uh, sorry, Saudi Arabia and Russia. But to be honest with you, they would need to outscore Russia. And right now, Russia have a goal difference of three. So a win for Saudi Arabia, be it one nil, would only be enough for second spot. So a lot on the line here. blocked now over the years both Saudi Arabia and Egypt have played eight times in all competitions and all kinds of matches uh, and Saudi Arabia have lost six of them that's right they did win one and that one win was an impressive 5-1 demolition of uh, Egypt back in the 19 uh, back in 1999 in the Confederations Cup but the last time that these two sides actually met it was in 2005 in a friendly Egypt one one nil but if you were to go back through the record books back to their first encounter or the first recognized encounter it was 1961 in Egypt they beat they they absolutely trounced Saudi Arabia 13 nil we're not going to get that today I don't think because the time it is running out down to the last couple of minutes of this match and in the minute Egypt are just waltzing their way through to the second round um but as runners up, if they knew what was going on in the other match, I'm sure they would, uh, they would turn on the style a little bit more. But here comes Saudi Arabia to upset the odds. But that strike is straight down the keeper's throat. He'll collect this and hopefully give a big boot. And again, they need to, they need to find themselves a winner. A draw is not good enough for you, Saudi Arabia. You will go out without losing a match that is not... Your fans will be, I guess they might be a little happy, you know, without, oh, a great effort once again. Keeper is equal to it and puts it that Hollywood save. But here comes Saturday again, they're not done. And that strike down to the ground this time. Keeper full of action this last couple of minutes um, to keep themselves in this. You know, a goal would throw them out of the tournament. So Saturday Arabia got the bits, bits between the teeth at the moment. Looking for that elusive goal. They strike. Oh, and again, really challenging Egypt at the moment. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to come out to nothing. Egypt will probably have to settle for second spot unless they can find that goal. And they've been, you know, credit to them. But they're not done. Here they come with a strike. And again, the Saudi keeper this time is equal to it. Despite the fact that it's a nil-nil, it's pretty but an entertaining second half anyway. A lot of good chances as we're creeping crawl towards the last portion of the game. Who's going to have the last telltale effort? Saudi Arabia from the back now. Can they pick a pass out? They can. It's headed onwards on the left-hand side. But he always does get to it now. he might got to make it count. Make it count. Whip a cross in. He does. It's blocked though by the Egypt defender. Headed onwards. Is there a sting in the tail? Oh, great control. But they loses it. Oh, unfortunately, this is this is real bad news for Saudi. They've been really good today, but Egypt just held their own, done enough, and they're going to go through as uh, runners-up. Though that's going to be a little bit upsetting for the Egyptian fans when they realise they're going to have to probably play Spain. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that because obviously Spain could still lose um, their final game and things could get shaken up in Group B. But it looks like it's over here, folks. A ball draw, nil-nil. Unless something freaky will go on here, but I don't don't see it happening. And there it is. Saudi Arabia nil, Egypt nil. Just a quick look at the statistics. If you take a look, there's five shots by Saudi Arabia. Five shots compared to one by Egypt. No corners. And uh, yeah, pretty. Besides that, nothing else in the book. No goal scorers. And no players in the referee's book. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and of course subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.